Hi, for the final quarter of 2023 App Bonanza of the BAU podcast, this is demonstrating an app called Charge Meter. Basically, what this is, is about your battery health and what the charging state is and all of that. And so it's something that comes in handy if you're into things of that nature. I particularly am not always into things of that nature, but if you care about your battery and want to know what its state is and all of that, probably this might be something that would come in handy. It does not have any ads, but it does have some premium subscription or lifetime purchase, if you will. However, I just want to demonstrate it as it is because right now, it does just about everything that I need. And I think all that needs to happen is that when you get the premium, then it makes it possible for you to add a widget to your home screen. And I'm not sure if that's worth it. It's like $3.50 or something like that. I'll show you that when we get to that part of the app. I am now on my home screen and will navigate my way to Charge Meter. And let's get started. Charge Meter. Here is Charge Meter. And I'll Tab Charge here. meter. Out of pager. Now from the offset, I want to just mention here in passing that if you're an explorer like me, you're not going to be able to explore through this app. So it's basically mainly swiping, especially in the main UI where you see the stats of the battery and all of that. And so uh, don't try to go exploring because you're not going to get that much of a feedback. And your best bet is to simply swipe through the app. So I'm going to put my finger near the top and then start swiping and you'll see what I'm talking about. Charge meter. So the first thing we hear is charge meter. And then if I swipe again. Discharging. And the line below that says in its current state, it's discharging. I swipe again. Get premium button. And it highlights the button there toward the right. And it says, get premium. If you swipe again, charge meter premium image. It shows an image of the charge premium, which is like a dark thing, which I believe is like the widget. And so if you pay for it, you should be able to have that widget on your home screen. Now there's another uh, button next to that, because I'm going right now. Charge meter premium button. And it says charge meter premium button. If I tap here, it will take us to where it will take you to uh, get it from the Play Store. Let me show you what I'm talking charge about. Charge meter. Navigate up button. And now put my finger down. Sign in with Google button. And it reads it here. So it's only the main UI that you have to swipe through. And it says you could sign in with your Google account. If I move my finger down. Widgets. And it says widgets. Get premium button get premium button powered by Harton's technologies private limited and that's the last thing there at the bottom so if i go back here move my finger back up get premium button get premium if i tap here for example google play store progress google play and charge meter premium here's what we got charge meter three dollars and fifty cents there you have it, three dollars fifty cents. I'm gonna go back. Charge meter. And Purchase I'll go cancel. Back again. Charge meter. Charge meter premium button. And so we're back to that button that I tapped on, and now on the top right corner, there's one last button there, and that will be the one that says settings. Settings button. There's the settings. Let's go ahead and tap here. Pop up window. Settings. When you tap on that settings, it pops up two items. The first one says settings and below that simply share. says share. Now let's go ahead and tap on that settings because that's the one that we're most concerned with. Settings. And now I'll tap here on settings. Charge meter, navigate up button. And like I said, though, now you can explore if you don't want to be swiping because everything else works with exploration except when you are in the main UI. I'll now put my finger down and explore through this window and go through the items that we find here in the settings. Get premium, view all features. We come across that get premium, view all features. And below that, profile. We have something called profile. Next. App protection. 
reduce disconnections to ensure a proper working of charging and low battery reminders. And so you can go in here basically if you're going to have your phone say, hey, don't put this in a restricted mode and that kind of thing. So when you power it on or when you turn it on and you're charging, it should be able to let you know when it's time to kind of uh, plug it or unplug it from the charger and all of that. Uh, but we can go in here and see what that means, but I'm absolutely sure that's what's talking about, basically to uh, have your phone not killing it uh, because of battery usage or whatever, but here's what we Charge find. meter, navigate up, button. So here's what we find. App protection settings. We hear app protection settings and below that. Samsung. It says my phone is Samsung because I'm using the S21. Below that. Not your phone brand. Tap to change. It says, is this not your phone brand? Go ahead and tap here to change. Next. To ensure a proper working of charging and low battery reminders, charge meter app must not be closed by the system. Follow the instructions below to prevent this from happening. Exactly. So it's like what I said earlier on, because some phones may want to kill it or whatever. And so you want to make sure that's excluded if you're going to be using it next. One, lock the charge meter app. So you can lock it so it's not getting uh, bumped out or whatever. Next. To prevent the charge meter app from being closed unexpectedly, bring up recent tasks, swipe to the charge meter app, and touch and hold or swipe down on it to lock it. Uh, basically, it's telling you how to lock your app. Next. Two, third-party security apps. So the next phase is about third-party security apps because some security app might see it as, you know, something uh, as spyware or would see it as something not good for your phone uh, because it's accessing your battery, that kind of thing. So it might flag it as being a bad app. And so here's what it says regarding that. Add the charge meter app to the app allo list in third-party security apps installed on your phone. So in other words, to allow it in the allowed lists of the uh, apps that you have allowed to access uh, this part of your phone. Three, allow background activity. Allowing background activity, in other words, so that it'll be able to know what the battery status is and all of that. And next... To prevent the charge meter app from being frozen. Okay, it says to put, uh, prevent it from being frozen. And that's the last item. Let's go back. Charge meter. App protection. Reduce disconnections to ensure a proper working of charging and low battery reminders. Charging reminder. The next item we come across is charging reminder. And below that we hear... You will receive a reminder to turn off the charger when your battery level reaches 80%. So if you're like me who would like to charge their battery only to like 80% or 84% at the max, this will be something that you will turn on. And to the right of that is an on-off switch. Switch off. By default, of course, it's turned off. Next. Slider, 80%. And then below that, we have a slider, and you can increase uh, where you want to stop charging. If it is not good enough for you, you could slide it up to maybe 84, 85, or 90, or 100% if that's how you like to charge your battery. Next. Low battery reminder. And then we come across a header for low battery reminder. Basically, the same idea with what we have above and below that we got. You will receive a reminder to plug in the charger when your battery level reaches 10%. And to the right of that, there will be that on-off switch. Switch off. And then below that, of course, we'll have another slider. Slider, 10%. And if you didn't want it to be 10%, you want it lower, maybe 5% or 3%, it's totally up to you. You can slide up or swipe up or down to increase or decrease that slider. Next. Enable dark mode. We come across an item that says enable dark mode. So in other words, if you don't want it in the light mode, you could tap here to enable the dark mode. And thank goodness, I believe this is not a paid uh, feature. So I'll tap here to enable dark mode. Disable dark mode. And it immediately changes to disable dark mode, meaning I have enabled dark mode. Next item. Choose language, system default. 
choose language and by system default meaning that the language of your phone is the default now if you wanted it in another language you tap there and go choose that language that you would like and that will be the last item here in the in the settings and now i'll go back to the main ui charge meter settings button and let's explore and continue from here or rather swipe from here and i swipe minus 395 minus 710 Minus 665. I come across an minus active 718. area that is changing. Minus 766. And I swipe again. Ma. And you say ma, that's M-A-H, that's a milliamp. Swiping right. Discharging at. It says it's discharging at, and that should give me the 10 percentage. 10% percent per hour. 10% percent per hour. Now, earlier on when I looked hour. at it, uh, it's changing. Now it says 8%. So... The reason, though, I, my guess is that because I have my phone tethered to my computer, um, not through a cable, but through the Wi-Fi, because I'm using this recorder to record what is going per hour. on. So it's saying 8% per hour is a discharge. Earlier on, when the battery was a little bit better, it says it was 5%, so I don't know for sure. Next. Estimated backup time. Estimated backup time. 2 hours 12 minutes. 2 hours and 12 minutes. Move to the right, swipe to the right. 942 milliamperes, 3,700 milliamperes. Swipe to the right. Progress bar, 25%. And progress bar is 25%. Voltage. And then we got the voltage. 3.681 volts. And that's the voltage of this battery. Next. Temperature, 31.1. Temperature is 31. Next. Level. And then we come across level. 25%. 25%. I think maybe that's the battery that I have remaining. Next. Status. And it says status. And that would be the status of my current battery. Discharging. And of course it's discharging. Next. Plug. And it's asking me to plug it in. On battery. And next. Max capacity. Max capacity, that's talking about the max capacity of my battery of this S21. 3,880 milliamp hours. So it's 3880 is the milliamp battery capacity. Health. And the health. Good. And the health is good. Next. Technology. And talks about the technology, of course. It's going to be lithium ion. Li ion. There we go. Next. Android version. And the Android version. Tiramisu. Next. Manufacturer. Manufacturer, of course, going to be Samsung. Next. Model. Model. SMG991. And build next, ID. Build ID. TP18. And that's the last item. Now, I'm sitting by a charger, and I'm going to plug in a very lousy charger on here and see what uh, changes by plugging that. And then we'll bring this little demo to a close. Charging started battery level 25%. There we go. It tells me battery level is 25%. Putting my finger near the top, and I'm just going to swipe through these things real quick and see what we have. Window charge meter. Charge meter. Charging. I'm just swiping right. Get premium, but charge meter pre charge meter premium. Settings. 616. 645. Ma. Charging at 17% per hour. So I got a very slow charger and it's telling me it's charging at 17% uh, per hour. Estimated charging time. 3 hours 24 minutes. 921 milliamp. Progress bar. Voltage. Okay. 3.761 volt. Temperature. 31.6. Level. That's not bad. 25%. Status. Charging. Plug. AC. Max capacity. 3,880 milliamp hours. Health. Good. Technology. Li Ion. Android Vert. Tiramisu. Manufacturer. And the rest of the story is the same thing as we saw earlier. And that will be the demonstration of the charge meter.